In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animation effect in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added a Polaroid camera here. When I click each image comes from the Polaroid and you can add some different uh, the title and the detailed text to each image. So when I click, you can see here it comes Paris. You can add the text and more detailed text. If you can add some more images or more details to it, you can just add it when I click it goes down then comes the Dubai then it comes the Rome so I have used three slides only for the presentation you can see here for this tutorial so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these images please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial to make this animation i'm going to use the images which i've downloaded from the internet the first one which is the polaroid camera and then i've added three images of different cities here uh, this if you can see here i've just put a image of kind of a eye filter on top of this polaroid uh, roll all right so now and then the most important thing which you have to do is you have to rename the image uh, names the first one you can see here i have put exclamation exclamation pick one then i have put like exclamation exclamation pick two and the same with pick three so let's start creating the animation effect go to the new slide first of all let me just copy this one Control c go to the new slide make it Control v and hold the shift key i'm going to increase the size maybe this much and then i don't want i cannot put all the camera on the particular slide because it will not have the space to show the the photos here so for that reason i'm going to trim the size of the camera okay for that go to the picture format and click the crop and i just need maybe this much size and then pull this up again if you want to increase the size you can further increase but let it be this much and then the next thing which i'm going to do is again i'm going to uh, cut this uh, image into two pieces okay so for that let me just press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to again use the crop and i'm going to crop till here where the images will come out from the camera all right you can see here and let me just put exactly again top of this one and again let me just crop and i'm going to crop it till here so you can see here i've got two different images now now let's copy the images i'm just going to the slide number one here select all these three images Control c come to the slide number two and paste it Control v and uh, you can see here the size of the images are very small you can just hold the shift key and increase it you can see here if you want more bigger also you can do that one and i can just change the height and width for the remaining of these two pictures based on this one which is you can see here 5.12 and 4.12 so let me just select this one 5.12 and 4.12 so all these images got the same size you can see here now it's time to place the images on top of the slide so for that let me just zoom out the first image which i want to bring is the eye filter so i'm just going to place this one and on top of that one the second image which i want to bring which is for the dubai you can see here uh, it's very small so let me just show you once i make it and then the third one which is the rome so you can see here this is how i have done so make sure that it is properly aligned all right so it looks something like this so now if you see here on the slide you don't see any images here because i have just kept it on top of this one all right so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one and again before that one make sure that this particular 
the top part of the camera should always be bring to front and this one should be always to send to back okay so now let me just duplicate this one duplicate the slide all right bring this image down you can see here let me just bring it down with the help of a you can see here i'm just going to bring this down with the help of the mouse it's taking some time i don't know the reason but so you can see here this is how the image comes from the printer or the camera so let me just quickly bring it down i don't know why it's taking time i can bring with the help of the mouse also let me just bring with the help of the mouse i think that is a quick one yeah and the other one also these two as well i'm going to make it bring it closer but still they are outside of the uh, this one the slide area okay so now this particular slide i'm going to the transitions and i'm going to select the morph transition all right so you can see here how this image comes out and if you want you can just reduce the size to maybe one so let me just show you when i click you can see here the image comes something like this so now for me it's easy not duplicate the slide select this one again take the take it out from the slide area second slide image all right again you have to make sure that this always bring to front okay make sure otherwise it will bring to front and this one should be always sent to back so now let me just select this image and i am bringing it here the dubai one then again duplicate this now this also will go down you can see here let me just move it down and then i'm going to use the third image which is the room and done so let me just show you now how it looks so when i click the first image comes second click this is go down this will go down and the dubai comes and the third is the room so here the the transition effect is very fast so let me just make it two seconds so now the very first slide i'm going to give some different color okay for that right mouse click go to the format background and you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give this color and you can just write any text on top of this i can just say uh, my trip images or photos or whatever you can call it and then i'm going to use the hand of sean and then increase the size you can see here apart from that one you can insert some icons also to make it more creative so i can just use for example transportation and i can just choose any images different different images of the transportation you can see here and uh, maybe this also click insert change the color to white and just position it randomly to different different places all right you can see here now let me just go to the second one i can give a different color here maybe i can give a purple color and i can write some text here i can say this is paris center align white font increase the size and you can add more detailed text as well so i can copy this one let me just go to this i can choose some again different color maybe a blue and i'm going to insert the text which is i'll type say this is dubai center align 
you can give a different font size or whatever now for this room i can use the eyedropper as well i can just choose any color from this photo also you can see here and i can just go and type just say this is room and i can give maybe it's here i can put it here if you want you can put it here as well dubai i can make this as a blue color and here paris also instead of white i can make it maybe purple you can add some detailed text also so let me just play now the first one comes you can see here paris then comes dubai then comes rome so depending on the requirement you can add as many slides as you want